What's up, my dudes? It's Monday, and you know what that means. I'm just kidding, it doesn't mean anything. Welcome back to my channel, where I don't know if I want to talk about plants or photography. Today, we're going to talk about photography. So, like I said, it's Monday, which means the start of a work week from home during quarantine. And I'm just, I just feel like I need to show people what I've been working on because it's so appropriately boring. Alternately titled, how to make sure your whites are actually white in your background when doing product photography. Okay, so um, as most of you, hopefully most of you know, I work as an e-com photographer uh, as my day job. So now that quarantine is hit, I've been working from home, pretty much just editing photos all day. Um, some of the photos I have taken, some of them are photos other people have taken and I'm editing them for them because I am really fast at it. Um, yeah, so here we go. I'm going to go in and I'm going to find some shoes. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to find some like nice easy ones just to show you guys and then I'll find some hard ones too I guess maybe. So let's do these two. So we're going to open them up in Photoshop. Okay. These are small web-sized photos. They're like maybe a thousand pixels on the long side. Okay? Okay. So as long as we get that, you know, in our brains, we can continue here. So the first thing we're going to do is obviously like clean up any crap you've got going on, you know, little bits of whatever here and there. This one doesn't actually have that much. Sometimes they have dust on them. Sometimes there's crap everywhere, whatever. Um, next thing we're going to do is do the background. This looks white, right? <laughs> it's not. So I'm literally just going to take a white brush, I'm going to do default, press the D key uh, to get black and white colors, and then press X so that the white is in the foreground, and I am going to paint over it. Now hopefully you guys can see that there is now a slightly off gray section around the shoe. Um, now this is like the greatest tool of all time. Curves tool. Literally all I'm going to do is take the white highlighter option, select that gray. I'm going to go with here because it's pretty dark. And now you can see that it's gone. It hasn't changed the shoe color too much. It's really just brightened it, which is perfect because we don't want the color to change. Now, um, there is that piece of whatever down there. Let's get rid of that and maybe get rid of this. Uh, pretty good. Now, this is the whole part of this video, is how to double check that it's actually white. Curves, again. Select somewhere that you know for a fact is white. So I know that I painted brush here with the dark dropper. Hey, look at all that non-white. So this is what I'm gonna do. Go back into curves, take the white, and go down here. So you can see it changed. And I'm literally just gonna keep doing that until all the excess color is gone. Should I be doing this on another layer? Probably. Am I going to? Nope. Why? Because it is a web-sized image it just needs to look good enough on the website where when you scroll through you don't see that there is gray around the corners or the edge of the photo or something like that. Um, this is great. Like, who cares about this? Whatever. If you want to get like super up close, take your white brush again and get in there. But like, that's all you literally have to do. You could also, you know, do the long way of, you know, selecting the whole image, either using the pen tool or using the cheap, cheapo, easy, fast way like I just did with a quick selection tool. Um, and like, you know, you could go in and you could paint out all the background. But the beauty of the curves tool is that it retains any like radiation and any shadow. So if you did want to keep a shadow there, it would actually keep that shadow for you and not just turn it into like 
solid white, which is great because it actually makes it look a lot more realistic. And it also, um, sometimes when you have like highlights like here, the brush tool, if you're painting it out, would actually contaminate that and then it just wouldn't look very nice. So that's literally all I use is a curve tool. Uh, just for fun, let's save and close that. Let's do this one just to show, show and prove how easy this actually is. This one looks so close to being actually white, but I know that it's not because they never are. Also, if you hear any background noise, my roommate's watching Sopranos. So yeah. So yeah, like you can see, there's tons of color here. So let's just go in. Hey, do you see that shift? Yep, looks pretty good. Perfect. And just because I don't feel like doing this anymore, let's do that. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's do do another shoe let's do what do we got here and yes these are all shoes that I still need to do yay me ah perfect here we go here's I guess what you can consider like a hard one let's to go with uh, this one here now white sometimes works sometimes it doesn't with this method sometimes you have to select it and go in uh, but let's just try so again B for brush D for default X for changing it to white and I'm just gonna go in with my brush and there we go now you can see it on the bottom there the top was actually pretty much pure white the bottom is not and that's the kind of stuff that shows up on the website when you're scrolling through and you have an all white background, you can immediately see this color change here. So we're gonna select that. Now it did change the color of the shoes a little bit. I might fix that. I might not for this video, we'll see. Um, so I still got some color here. So let's just go into here. Now, sometimes when you go through and you pick out the, left, the leftover color, it actually fixes any color shifts that you like would have had. So it's still like a little bit blue. So in this instance, this is an instance where I would go in and I actually would either, you know, before I start do the selection and white can be really annoying to select. Um, as you can see, nothing just worked <laughs> there. <laughs> um, there is also this amazing new select subject from the quick uh, selection tool which is why I use it so often so now what I can do is um, oops, let's do that instead I can if I wanted to God, I'm just making a mess of this now cuz I'm trying to do it fast cuz I'm trying to make a video um, I can just take my brush tool sorry not my brush tool my history tool and I can just go through and like take out all the color that I did on the shoe and it will only do the shoe. Um, alternatively, from the start of the image, I could have done the selection and then done the curves around it and then it just wouldn't have, you know, changed the color of the shoe. I mean, it does look kind of like, it just looks like it's not right anyways, but whatever. So anyways, that's what I would do with a white one. And yeah, it's, you know, it's really easy. It's really fast. It's literally just like, cheap and dirty and fast and it, but it, it gets the job done and when you have you know 400 images of shoes to edit you really just need like the fastest way possible to do it so this is the way that I do it that is super super fast just for fun let's do one more shoe let's do I don't know let's do this red one so again brush default switch to white um, because I don't know if you guys know this, but every time you use the curves brush on the white, it actually uh, changes your color over here. So if you don't do the default and then X, you could be painting with a random gray color. Um, so again, let's just do that. Looks pretty good. Didn't change the shoe color. So there's still a lot of crap going on down here. 
out just a little bit more. by my recent files this is literally all I've been doing for weeks now um yeah what else to say about this again should I be using a background layer yeah probably am I going to no it's that's too much time like I really just need this to be as fast as possible so that's just not gonna happen and uh yeah that's it best ecom adjusting tool curves for sure and yeah that's kind of like all i got so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed maybe next time will be a plan video maybe it'll be another photography one i have no idea because i can't make up my mind welcome to my channel where i just do whatever i want basically which is fine with me anyways i hope you guys have a good night thanks for watching see you later bye